Today, a twist on the white Russian. Sweeter, it has grenadine and marshmallow vodka. This episode is brought to you by GarnishBar.com. Create, find, and share your most delicious cocktail recipes. Create your recipes on GarnishBar.com and send us the link. We'll prioritize those above all others until August 31st, 2012. Check out our behind-the-scenes video at GarnishBar.com slash CMC. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shomer. Today, we have a recipe submitted by Miles Boyce. Miles Boyce. Miles. I think it's right. Could be Miles, but I think it's Miles. Recipe was on GarnishBar.com, and this time... We're taking the idea of a white Russian in a small, typically a low ball glass over ice, a little cream, could use milk. We're going to add some marshmallow vodka. We're going to sweeten it up a little bit. We've got our Kahlua, that's typical. Uh, we've got a vodka, but it's got marshmallow and a little bit of grenadine with a cherry. So definitely more of a sweet version of a classic. We're doing all kinds of weird mashups of classics this week. Oh. We're going to add our ice in first. Let's start with, I don't know, cream. Where is my measuring stuff? I lost it again. Oh, I'll use this one. So we're going to do two-thirds cream. Oh, yeah. That looks right. Then we're going to do, let's say, an ounce and a half of vodka marshmallow version. Now... Miles Boyce submitted this with Smirnoff, I think. I don't have Smirnoff. I, I requested and said, hey, can I just, you know, use what I have? Like, oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. I spilled some. So I did. And that's how we got this recipe. So what do I need here? I need a half an ounce of Kahlua. Now, I would personally use the Araku hiding back there because I can. And by the way, this is also rum and coffee liqueur. But I'm using Kahlua because that's what the recipe said to use. So I'm going to try and keep it as close to the original recipe submitter as possible. Stir that a little bit. Wow. There you go. Chocolate milk, baby. Yeah! Hmm. I was going to use that to pull out my cherry, too. A dash of grenadine. Should have thought about that. I should have. I didn't. But... Thanks to napkins, we can make this all better. I hate that sound. This? Yes, don't do it. It gives me the chills. Stop. I, I get the, the screeching down the blackboard. Oh, wow, you actually have chills? Yes. That's awesome. I never knew that. We've been married a while, and I never, never knew I could use that technique. How many times do you go around wiping paper towels, spoons with paper towels? I don't know. Enough. Like that velvet, I can't do velvet either. Oh, you can't touch velvet? No. Or I get the chills when somebody touches velvet. Wait, somebody else touches velvet and they have to push it together? Yeah, the sound. I can't, I can't make a velvet sound, unfortunately. Looks like a white Russian. It's very, very tricky. You can't tell the difference. So there you go. If you're trying to make a drink, but you want to look more like, I don't know, a man. We get those comments. Well, that doesn't look very manly. Like, can't taste very good. Or what is it? It's not good because it's more of a girl drink. It's totally better because it's a girl drink. This is a stealth girl drink. Surprisingly. You could make that for your uncle who always drinks white rice. Oh, he would be, he'd be like, what the hell? What's <laughs> wrong with this? Um, it's very stealthy. Like, I get the impression that I'm drinking a slightly sweeter white Russian. However, I typically drink my white Russians with milk. So I'm already going to the sweet category by bringing in the cream, right? That's going to be a sweeter, sweeter, thicker flavor. I if it's, well, I guess it's kind of sweeter, but definitely thicker. Definitely. This, though, has a slight, slight, ever so slight finish of marshmallow. Almost like you're not sure it's there because a white Russian has like that chocolate milk thing going on. You get a little dash of vodka, you get that flavor. But then you're like, wait, is there a marshmallow in there? Like you get just a hint, like marshmallows were next to it when you made it, but not overpowering marshmallow. It was made in a factory that had marshmallows. contained marshmallows. Contained, yes, this product may contain marshmallow traces. Um, and that's really, that's really what you get. 
you get traces of marshmallow without an overdominance. Otherwise, the sweet Soviet is as close to a white Russian as you can get. And that's okay with me because a white Russian is a pretty, pretty easy drink to make in flavor that tastes like awesome in a glass. Uh, question of the day, do you have any tattoos? This is my tattoo, it's a wolf howling at the moon. I am so sick of people asking me what that is because you can only see like this much of it. So there you go. Now I have to remember to tag this video with tattoo or something. So when somebody asks me, I could be like, go to this video because we've seen it, we showed it before and I can't remember what video that is. So there you go. Do you guys have any tattoos and where are they? Go ahead, tell us. Wherever it is, you could you could use asterisks if you don't want to, you know, call out the spot. Just saying. EverydayDrinkers.tv.com, GarnishBar.com, where you can get beautiful recipes like this because our fans say so. We're teaching how to drink.